Ex-Belgian king fined daily until he takes paternity test after women claims she is his daughter. Delphine Boyle, a Belgian artist and noble woman, first came forward in 2005 claiming to have been born from a long affair between Albert and her mother. King Albert II, who abdicated from Belgium's throne six years ago, is facing a hefty fine for each day. He refuses to take a paternity test to settle a claim that he fathered a child in the 1960s. Delphine Boyle, a 51-year-old artist, claims to be the daughter of Belgium's abdicated King Albert II and fought a lengthy and often embarrassing legal fight for public recognition. Shall Boyle prevail as a royal heiress? She's in line for a substantial share of the king's fortune, which is conservatively estimated in the hundreds of millions. She may be also entitled to a title and possibly a distant place in the line of succession. She may receive it, but if the ex-king has his way, it will remain a state secret. Last November, Bill won a major court advantage when, after a five-year legal battle, a Brussels court ordered Belgium's former King Albert II resign the throne to his son in 2013, citing ill health to submit to a paternity test by giving a DNA sample to resolve Boyle's suit. The ex-king refused to cooperate and appeal the case. But last week his appeal was struck down in Brussels. There is however another appeal proceeding to the nation's highest court faced with DNA evidence that industrialist Jacques Boyle, the man who raised Delphin as their daughter, uh, was not her biological father. The Brussels court decreed that in the absence of Albert's DNA sample, she will be presumed to be his daughter. In Thursday's ruling, the Brussels judge has decided to fine the king $5,600 for each day he refuses to submit to the test. On Monday, his lawyers announced his intention to cooperate, but with one essential condition. His Majesty the King will accept the blood test. Guy Heronux said, according to the New York Times, now that he is compelled to do so, he would, however, only do so on the condition that the results are kept secret until Belgium's highest court rules on the appeal against the order. Local Belgian news media suggest the court of cassation could hear the appeal as early as December. The ex-king's attorney, however, believes the process could take easily more than several years. The Times say Stories concerning the birth of a Belgian royal love child circulated for decades before becoming public with the publication of a 1999 biography of Albert's Italian-born wife, Queen Paula. The couple married in 1956 and had three children, including current King Felipe. Boyle, a Belgian artist and noble woman, was born in 1968. She first came forward in 2005, claiming to have been born from a long affair between Albert and her mother, the Baroness Sibylla Celeste de Longchamps, and that as a child, he had acknowledged her in private and had been very supportive. Things changed in 1993, she claims, when Albert's older brother, King Baudin, died suddenly of a heart attack. Childless at the time of his death, Baudin's throne moved to Albert and his side of the family. The newly claimed King Albert II reportedly called Bull in 1993 once before cutting all ties. He is denied her claim since she first went public in 2005. He also opposed a legal action which began in 2013 shortly after he abdicated in favor of his son Felipe. Until his abdication, Albert was protected as king under Belgium's constitution from suit or prosecution as head of the state. For her part, Boa's mother, Baroness Longchamps, 87, has long supported her daughter's claim, acknowledging she met the playboy prince in Greece when her father was Belgium's ambassador. She has provided intimate and somewhat explicit details of their relationship to television and other media outlets in Belgium and other European countries. While Albert too remains a much-loved figure, Bowl has won respect for her case. A March survey in Brussels' leading newspaper, Le Soya, found three out of four respondents supported her lawsuit. This is all so painful to him. Heronux told the Times he's over 80, not in good health condition. He underwent 
multiple heart operations. This is very hard to live with. He literally told me it's affecting my health. 